Damage your house, they'll chew through your plants, they could even make you sick. They are giant African land snails, one of the most damaging snails in the world. And somehow, they're in Florida. They've wound up crawling through part of Pasco County, and now the state's trying to figure out how to get rid of them. Let's go out to Fox and Change. Jordan Bowen, who spoke with a business owner who found several on his property, including some today. Uh, Jordan, let's back this up for a second. Do we know where they came from, how they go? Well, apparently, they came from Africa, but how they get here? Well, Mark, that is the big mystery. There have been some theories. Maybe someone brought them over here from Africa or someone illegally had one as a pet and it got loose, but the department is still investigating that. Meanwhile, because these snails rapidly reproduce at such a high rate, they are working fast to eradicate them. Giant African land snails can range in size from a few inches up to eight inches long. Jay Pasqua has seen dozens of them. A lot of times I'll see a few in the morning and as the afternoon progresses, I'll see more. Uh, I can see anywhere from six to maybe 30 a day. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, or the FDACS, first reported finding a giant African land snail back on June 23rd in an area near Massachusetts Avenue and Rowan Road in Pasco County. Since then, the area has been under quarantine, meaning residents aren't allowed to move any soil, plants, yard waste, or compost piles. Pasqua's business sits right in the middle of the quarantined area. While we were there, we spotted what appeared to be two giant African land snails in the parking lot. They eat stucco and paint, which I was totally taken back. I started looking all over my building like, I can't believe a snail would do that. And no sooner that happened, the next day, I found a half a dozen snails, right, I saw on the other side of the fence, and one of them actually they measured was six inches long. Pasqua says officials with the FDACS have been out to the area several times, including this afternoon. And he says they collected and disposed of more than 40 snails. According to the FDACS website, they've been treating the land with a metaldehyde-based molluscicide, otherwise known as snail bait. They warn residents who find them not to touch them and to report them. They can cause significant damage to tropical environments and pose a serious health risk to humans by carrying the parasite rat lungworm, known to cause meningitis. Well, it is very important that they get them out of here, number one, uh, for health reasons and the diseases that they carry. Uh, number two, they're damaging to buildings, they're damaging to vegetation. And once again, if you see one, you are asked to report it. We posted that information on our website, fox13news.com. We did reach out to the department for an update, but we're told they are having a news conference around noon tomorrow where they will be telling us uh, everything that they know about this and the latest information about these snails. Mark, it's really something uh, I can't believe. Uh, six inches long. That's really amazing. Well, we'll get those pictures on our website as well so people yeah. can check them out and look for them. But don't touch. Jordan, thanks. All right.